awesome. I want to meet you. I mean, I want to meet the you inside of you. The you inside of you that will not be denied. The overlooked you. The disrespect. I'm a firm believer that God either moves you voluntarily or involuntarily. And some things that were beyond my control, expenses that began to increase, prompted me to begin to look. And as I contemplated on whether or not to just figure out how to combat the situations that were there or to explore, I prayed. And I said, God, if I'm going to do a move, make it make sense. Make it so that we can be more visible and that we can have greater service to the community. And as I said that prayer, I was coming over the hill, uh, southbound over uh, 8094, and I started jotting down addresses. And just ironically, my car slowed down in front of 3669 Broadway. And I said, hmm, interesting. And I pulled on off and kept going, jotting down addresses. Pat went and took care of my business and came back down. As I'm coming back down north on Broadway, my car slowed down again. I said, okay. Picked up the phone and made a couple of calls, and the rest is history. The rest is history. Jay's Breakfast Club. And so, not only do you serve bomb breakfast, I tell you guys a few of my favorites. The salmon croquettes is on point. <laughs> uh, she got some good hash browns, too. Whenever I went to the spot on Grant, the young lady who was behind the counter and took my order always looked at me funny. Mm -hmm. I never got, like, a full meal. I just wanted the hash browns a cup of coffee, and I think I would get eggs. <laughs> that was like my thing, right? Mm -hmm. But the whole menu was really good, and you've added a coffee bar too, right? Yes. Where did this idea come from? Well, a lot of customers come in, and I'm not a coffee <clears> drinker. <throat> a lot of customers came in. A lot of come in, including you. <laughs> would ask me, you know, about the coffee, and because I'm not a coffee drinker, you know, I just deal with my suppliers. They're yeah. like, oh, try this one. This will be good. Okay, the price point is right. Serve the coffee. So as I started thinking in this big move, I said, what would be great is we don't have a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a Dunkin' Donuts, but, you know, people are asking for coffee. Yeah. We are the breakfast club. Yeah. We're the breakfast club, i.e. club, bar, coffee. Mm -hmm. So I started to interview and reach out to different coffee providers and found this coffee provider actually out of Maryville. She has her own blends and all that great stuff. And I did a final search on Google, and it came back an old article about their coffee company, and I called her back, and the name of my corporation is Divine Strategy. She said, I didn't meet you, and I didn't know who was calling me, but I told my partner, I don't know who this is, but I, get you, I bet you all love him because I think it's God. And from that point on, we have a phenomenal relationship. Um, it's Tandra's Fine Coffees and Teas out of Maryville, and they partner with us to provide us some extraordinary coffee. The coffee is, now I will say this, um, everything in Jay's Breakfast Club is really good. Now, I'm a critic when it comes to coffee because mm -hmm. I am a connoisseur of <laughs> fine coffees. I drink it black, mm -hmm. no sugar, no cream. I don't mix it. Mm -hmm. I'm serious about this thing, Chelsea. I see it. So when I tasted this coffee, I said, my God, it's so mild, black. That was some of the best cup of coffee. I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so kudos to Tan to, to Tandra's, Tandra's fine oh, is it coffee fine coffee and teas. Yes, and you it's available at Jay's Breakfast Club. Yes, it's but, available. But so I've been there um, mm -hmm. for the soft launch, walked around, and like you said, we do not have a Starbucks or a lounge somewhere where you can go and just chill. Mm -hmm. You know, get on your laptop, mm -hmm. um, network with other people mm -hmm. in the area. Mm -hmm. And you've got that. And the great thing is that there's so much space. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a major difference between the space you had on Grand and the space you have now. Mm -hmm. uh, how is it getting used to that new space? I walk in and all every day. Um, when I began to design how, what I wanted in the space, I never could imagine the way it turned out today. Mm -hmm. And so that's awesome. I love it. Um, so... Coffee bar, mm -hmm. um, Jay's Breakfast Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. Of course, that is phenomenally known for the breakfast menus. But you do something on Sundays as well. Right. Tell us about what you got going on on Sundays. Well, in um, our old location, we had Soul Food Sunday every last Sunday of the month. And so with the new location, I'm up in the game. So now we have a sun for Soul Food Sunday every Sunday. And we're open till 5 p.m. And it just happens this first Soul Food Sunday, we had some local uh 
musicians come in Amen. and they blessed us of with course. some live music, Amen. which in turn, other musicians were attending and they said, well, I'll come next week. Cool, cool. And we have the possibility now, three weeks straight, we'll have live music on cool. um, Sundays between two and four. Hey, I don't know why when you said Sundays, I automatically started saying amen. Um, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's church boy in me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Jocelyn, what else can we expect from Jay's Breakfast Club in the near future? Well, the one thing that I've done is during this process of moving and developing the new location, we've been able to redefine who we are or better define. I don't want to say That's redefine, good. better good. define. That's good. And one mission that we have is inspiring positivity through love. So whatever we can do to make that corner brighter, to make our community brighter, to inspire people, that's what we're doing. So when you come to Jay's Breakfast Club, don't only look for great breakfast, but look for love. Mm. Um, look for opportunity. Look for networks. We've um, partnered with so many people to make this happen. We've got Corky Gray. Mm. We've got Annie Vickery of uh, Ashes for Beauty that's poured okay. their their talent, skills, and abilities. Yeah, yeah. So when you walk in the building, you see wonderful artwork. You see <laughs> wonderful uh, workmanship in regards to these two individuals. Now with uh, not only our phenomenal team that, we, that I have working with me, but their partners in the community, such as Chelsea sitting here, C. Witt, who's teamed up with us mm -hmm. as well. Um, it's so many talents that we've been able to pull together. And to me, that's that positivity coming forth because of the love. Now, you've been an entrepreneur many years now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, walking in this thing full time. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to give them the full story. Mm -hmm. To get that by the Gary Crusader, mm -hmm. it'll be printed next Saturday. <laughs> you can read the article that I had to, had the chance to write mm -hmm. uh, with Justin. But what were some, and I'm always interested, I mean, whenever I speak to an entrepreneur or business owner, what are some of those hurdles? Uh, because it's almost like you have a, uh, a two-edged sword. Not only are you uh, an African-American, but you're a woman. Mm -hmm. So sometimes those hurdles can be a lot taller uh, for women to overcome. So what are some of the things that you had to um, work through in being a successful business owner in the area? Well, I mean, if, even if you go back to my formative years, I've always explored the non-traditional. Mm -hmm. um, I remember in eighth grade, I got into a fight. Uh -huh. <laughs> and my mother came back and she said... You're not living up to your potential, so what are you going to do? Because mm. you're not going back to public school. You need to figure it out. Did you win the fight, though? Well, of course I did. Okay, I just had to put yes. I wanted to know. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little hood. She was, come on. Now. <laughs> I won the fight, and that was probably part of her thing. Like, okay, you're, I'm raising you to be a lady, and you're out here fighting like a them. Well, you know, you do what you got to do. But anyway... <laughs> At that point in time, I decided that, okay, fine. I can't go to public school. I didn't want to go to NJRN. I'll do something even better. So I ended up going to boarding school for my freshman, sophomore mm. year. And then from there, I was an exchange student my junior year. Really? And then when I came back from, um, I lived in Linz, Austria, right outside of Germany. Really? And when I came back, my dad said, what's next? I said, I want to go to Lou Wallace. He said, mm. uh, uh huh. <laughs> from Austria? You are from crazy. Right, um. right. Right. <laughs> And so I'm a That's proud a graduate, title. right? I'm a proud graduate of the class of '92 from the Wallace High School. Go Hornets! You won't hold that. Won't hold that hush again. now, hush. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, I'm on your team. So <laughs> um, I, I just thank God for my parents' foresight. I, I thank God for their uh, openness and willingness to let me explore. So I've always done things differently, but when it was time to go to college. I listened to what other people told me. Oh, you're good in math. You're good in science. Mm. You know, this thing called biochemistry, you should try that. They come out making 80,000, 100,000 straight out the gate. That got my okay. that got my attention. Of course. Mm -hmm. Till I donned the campus of Spelman College as a biochemi biochemistry major and was dying. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point in time, I dropped the biochem and started to explore those things that I love. And one being business and money. So I ended up st studying economics. So the first leg was doing what other people want you to do. Mm -hmm. Does not always net you where you're supposed to be. That's right. That's good. Uh, so got that degree. Came back to Gary. And I've worked for numerous companies. Um, NIPSCO, first out of college. And then I've worked for several banks. Most of my uh, <coughs> corporate careers in banking mm. didn't work out for me because I was miserable. Mm. Things don't just happen, they happen justly. And just natural evolution and attrition ended me up in this wonderful hospitality world. And I actually came out of it and ended right back here 
And I could never have dreamed this dream that I'm living right now. Hmm. That's my story. Awesome. Um, Desmond. Yeah. Isn't it ironic? <clears throat> I think you both saw my post today. And it just popped in my mind this morning when I was running where it says, stop letting others oh, yeah, yeah. set your goals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and so they were giving you this, this might be good. I mean, it's one thing to research and look into things, but it's like looking inside yourself saying, what do I want to do? What What are my goals? Because you'll be more passionate about it, which makes you go after it harder. Yeah, Absolutely. Then my mom told me to do this, or my sister said this will be good for me. So mm -hmm. that's just so funny that you were telling some of these things. I had no idea. I didn't know you lived in Austria. Mm -hmm. You never told me that. Mm -hmm. So, well, yeah. everything is full circle. Richard mm -hmm. was just saying, mining in yourself, identifying who you are and what mm -hmm. you're called to do, your purpose, and and the joys. Oh, uh, and I know you you both experienced this. The joy of doing something you're called to do that was yeah. you're passionate mm -hmm. about doing this it's, and we had this conversation last yes. time you were here so it's not always mm -hmm. about the money and no, I, I've reached a, a place in entrepreneurship where I, I get that mm -hmm. it's always about how much you can bring in but mm -hmm. how much are you giving out to the people that you're working with and mm -hmm. that impact that you're making mm -hmm. it's got to be so fulfilling to know that you've employed so many people mm -hmm. you've impacted so many people mm -hmm. with not just good coffee and good food mm -hmm. but with a quality experience and that love is there mm -hmm. you must have the best nights when you go home i'm assuming because you're not miserable working that job that you mm -hmm. felt you were stuck in but you're doing what you want to do right I am doing what I want to do, and no, I'm not miserable, and no, I do not rest, and I ask James Kelly, because he tell you that, because he tell me, stop it, you know, but bottom line of it is, is that I find my joy and my passion helping others to explore their awesome. joys and their passion, so even, I've employed a lot of people, but one of the questions that I ask those employees, most of my employees is, what is it that you want to do, where is your love, where is That's your good. passion? That's good. And um, if it's, you know, not necessarily working with me or doing what we do, I can almost see it. Mm. And I tell uh, somebody who works very closely with me for many years now, Miss Paula, who's my main person at the restaurant. I hey, Miss Paula. Hey, Paula, girl. <laughs> but anyway, um, I tell her all the time, I said, don't worry about somebody who's not working out. They'll fire themselves. Mm. I don't have to worry about firing yes, them. Indeed. Because one thing will happen is your passion, and because I'm passionate about it, like attracts like iron sharpens iron. That's right. So therefore, if just because that environment with me is not the right one, they'll find their right environment. And I encourage them to do that. And it may not be with me, but hopefully something that I've said, something that I've done will peak something in them to say okay I have a greater calling and it's not here and it's it's okay that it's not it's here it's okay but encourage them to do what they are put on this earth to do well you know your assignment and, right? uh, and I'm, you learning. Can, I'm learning I'm you learning you got a good grasp on it you I'm know learning. better than others you learning. know so I'm interested I kind of know but tell the audience how did you two get hooked up how did see <clears> where <throat> get linked up with Jocelyn and Jay's breakfast well club? Number A, I like food. <laughs> no, all these letters. <laughs> right. <laughs> Number A, no. Um, well, I've known Joss for quite some okay. time, and um, actually worked alongside um, with her mother through some school district things when I was working in the city and things like that. But I've known her as an individual for quite some time. Didn't know all these backstories of this like great life she's well, lived Austria. overseas <laughs> from Austria to. Glam Park. But right, anyway. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she could have come to Ninth and Jerry. We would have welcomed her with open arms. Open arms. Yeah. But um, I actually have another client who we all know, Delta Jones Walker yeah. from Atlet Financial. And Delta is about educating the community financially. Mm -hmm. And so we've had two encounters with Jocelyn and Delta. Joss came to an information session at Delta's office uh, last year. It was just it was like a financial fitness one on one, and I want to say had you maybe that might have been 2015. It might have been early 2016. Something I think it was 2016. Mm -hmm. It was 2016. And um, Jocelyn was in you know really getting into the throes of Jay's Breakfast Club, and then when I started seeing it online and knew that she had that space there, I reached out to her mm -hmm. to have another <clears throat> session in the community for Delta, mm -hmm. and we hosted it at Jay's. And so after that session was over, I just said to Jocelyn, I said, you know, these are the things that I'm helping Delta with. If you are interested in me helping you with your social presence and some media presence, just let me know and we'll talk. And she followed up 
and the rest has been history and it's been a great ride so far and it's so funny because I'm so passionate about it. I now have people saying, you, you have a restaurant now. And I'm like, no, I don't. That's what you are. Yeah. That means you're doing your job. Like, you have a restaurant. And I was like, no, I'm working with someone who has one. And um, I rarely vouch for things on my, I don't vouch for things on my personal page that I don't believe in. Mm -hmm. And so I'm if, if I'm constantly sharing yes, something, yeah. I approve it. Yeah, and so that's how we got started. And this is just the beginning. Just the beginning yes. of many great things. Well, I will. Um, you know, Jay's Breakfast Club is something that we're going to uh, keep promoting. So for the next month, we're going to let people know about you guys. Uh, we, I'm coming regardless, you know, because it's, it's Jocelyn. Yeah, but Jay's Breakfast like. Club is a good spot. I want you all to go and support Jay's Breakfast Club Monday through Friday. What other times, Jocelyn? Well, Monday Sunday, through Friday. Monday, we there seven days a week Monday starting Sunday, at 6 o'clock a.m. I'm so sorry. Monday through Sunday. Chelsea kind of sighed at me when I said that. Right. Right. <laughs> you know. And we close at 2, okay. except for Sundays. Except for where Sunday. we're open till 5 for Soul Food Sunday. Soul Food Sundays. Mm -hmm. Please go out and support. Anything else you got coming up, Jocelyn, that you want people to know about? Well, one great thing about the move is we have plenty of space and focus. Folks are knocking our doors yeah. down in order to use that space. We've got baby showers. We've got birthday parties. We've got business meetings. People are really seeing the space, falling in love. It's my space. And we're here for you. And right now, we do have some introductory offers that awesome. we're offering. And if you want to use the space, um, coordination with catering. And then I'm going to give a shameless plug. Right. Another partner that we have embraced, um, I reached out to Chelsea one day and I said, Chelsea, I think I want to find an area baker to come and make take this thing over the top. If we're going to do coffee, uh, coffee bar, right. we need to have some sweets in the place. And before my mother, bless her heart, she do her best to keep up with my demands. But I want my mother to now lay low, enjoy yes. her retirement yes. and live. Yes. And so I reached out to Chelsea and I said, Chelsea, what do you think? I'm on it. So she immediately shared the post and got, you know, some the word out there. And after a couple of different interviews with different bakers, one just stuck out because she came to the table ready, prepared, and just grateful for the opportunity. And that's Miss Joyce Reese of Simply Treats and Sweets. Okay, Simply And so now she's providing us daily breakfast muffins, awesome. daily desserts. She's she provided the muffin I had. Yes. That was a good muffin. That and that muffin. red velvet one I had. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, yeah. somebody's probably listening. Like, <laughs> bad, bad girl. She's um, so for so, so Food Sunday. Yes. Ooh, so good. Peach cobbler. And um, she's doing her thing. And I thank God for her. And she tells me, I thank God for you. But again, this is about partnerships. Yeah. Uh, partnerships grow business. That's right. But businesses grow the community. That's right. So if I can engage all of these people, I mean, even from Chelsea to you to all of these different people in the community, they're all you all are what make Jay's Breakfast Club um, the customers, yeah. the partners, the employees. It's not about Jocelyn. It's about the community. It's about all the hands that are involved. By no ma no way can I do this by myself. So it's important that when people say, oh, you're a success. No, I'm not. We are a success because without everyone playing their part, there's no reason for me to get up and unlock those doors That's every right. day. That's it. No, there, there was such a thing called Black Wall Street. Um, all of these African-American owned businesses promoted one another, supported one another, and built something great. Mm -hmm. And I love to see driving down Broadway now you see glimmers of that you know you've got several spots that are popping up mm -hmm. some who have relocated like yourself and moved mm -hmm. and if we're going to reclaim our city mm -hmm. make it great again mm -hmm. right make Gary great again okay stop I, no no, it uh, no. no it's been no connotation <laughs> to that but no. okay, anyway okay. Gary has <laughs> always been great Gary's always been we great. are dusting it off we're dusting it off mm -hmm. and we are renovating we're rebranding it that's yeah. right and sure. so with the work that you're doing mm -hmm. and Chelsea Mm -hmm. others you know mm -hmm. you gotta buy into this and mm -hmm. so I want everybody listening and those who are going to be watching on YouTube to to buy into it support and if you have a business do it mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. link up with Chelsea Chelsea how can they contact you for see what if they need some PR well, and social thank you media very much they can follow me on Facebook C wit that's capital C capital W H I T T mm -hmm. Instagram Twitter 
and LinkedIn, all Chelsea Whittington. Chelsea is a hustler. Chelsea, yes, she you right. is. Chelsea, I never thought I would see or meet somebody who who matched my hustle or outmatched my hustle. Let's do it. Chelsea's a hustler, yes, and I love is. it. I love it. I love the passion <laughs> behind all that she does. Jocelyn, one more time, what's the phone number and location of Jay's Breakfast Club? We are Jay's Breakfast Club, located at 3669 Broadway. Across the street from Chase Bank on 37th Avenue, adjacent to Gary Christian Center. You cannot miss us. Our phone number is 219-455-6959. Open seven days a week, beginning at 6 a.m. 2 p.m. closed, except for Sundays, where we have our Soul Food Sunday until 5 p.m. We do offer delivery. So if you can't get to us, That's we can important. definitely get to you. And there's plenty of opportunities if you need a space for your event. We can help you if you need catering for your event. We can help you. Let us help you. And then we have wonderful partners that we can engage you in as well. Awesome. Uh, did you give your Facebook social media information out? Jay's Breakfast Club all over the place. All over and that's J apostrophe S. Jay's. Not J-A-Y-S. You no, know. no, no. You're going to find no, something else. J apostrophe no. S. All right. <laughs> no, Listen, no. this has been a joy. Thank you so much, Chelsea. Whenever you're on, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure. Jocelyn, we're going to have you back on okay. um, soon. We, we, we're waiting on that restaurant to pop open. So. I ain't mad. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the Gary Crusader on this Saturday. It will be printed and published, and you can read the full scope about um, Jocelyn's story and what kind of got her to this position. You know, We always say we take the leap of faith, and sometimes we got to leap to do things. But sometimes God will push you, mm -hmm. and Jocelyn is truly a testament of God pushing her. Divine strategy. Divine strategy. As I was writing the story, I said, man, everything about Johnson is, is just divinely connected, mm -hmm. divine connections, and we're excited to be a part of the movement, okay? We speak blessings over your business, and it will continue to flourish, prosper, and grow, um, and thank you so much.